Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. The black community is slowly waking up. And it's not something that America really wants. Because when the black community actually wakes up, I'm assuming that we'll all go to the Libertarian Party, which is the party of get off my lawn. Uh, leave me alone and I'll leave you alone and uh, the government need only be two men who uh, uh, direct our uh, uh, security forces to defend us and that's it. Uh, when the black community actually wakes up then you're going to see a lot of changes, right? When they wake up, they're going to, you're going to see this whole uh, illegal immigration thing completely disappear because illegal immigration uh, is against the black community. Illegal immigration uh, is in direct competition with any, any uh, unskilled labor, which, uh, for whatever reason, uh, the black community now has a tremendous portion of the black community uh, is in unskilled labor. Uh, meaning that they're not carpenters, they're not, for whatever reason, do you know that uh, all of those jobs used to be considered black jobs, quote unquote? Uh, so uh, I'm going to give you this information. I got this off of a, a black period periodical. Slowly black media these are companies that are run by black people, not necessarily owned by, by black people, but run by black people, uh, that uh, are coming out with Cosby information. Uh, slowly the black community is turning around and saying, hey, wait, wait a minute. Uh, it's one thing uh, that you, uh, uh, we were asleep uh, when you attacked Cosby, the legend, uh, and then uh, at that, we were naive because you came out with this story, unbelievable story, but you came out with this story. And uh, the mainstream media uh, ran it day in and day out, day in and day out, day in, before he even got a quote unquote arrested, right? Right? Uh, the mainstream media made to me because they wanted a new OJ. They wanted a new story. Do you, do you know what OJ did to the mainstream media? Uh, before that, uh, your uh, stations uh, had about, uh, what, it was a 12 hours of television. Everybody watching this mostly is older, so I'm sure I'm not talking to any children here. Uh, the stations were all 12 hours. And then Star Jones and her group of lawyers uh, during the OJ trials and OJ stuff uh, were on TV for 24 hours. It solidified cable TV as the ruling uh, class uh, for the mainstream media. Uh, it completely switched over to a 24 hour news cycle. Why? Because people were glued to their TV. Glued. Completely glued. Uh, so they were hoping that Cosby would be that, but Cosby isn't that because there are so many other competing stories. And this is why YouTube is in the position that it's in. Because the mainstream media has uh, created uh, contracts or written contracts with the mainstream media. And the mainstream media wants to uh, buy back their fame and their whatever, right? But it's unfortunate because uh, it's going to come to naught because millennial men and black men uh, both agree there's nothing on TV for us, right? Uh, and so uh, if there's nothing on TV, we're not going to watch it on YouTube either. As, as much as YouTube wants to write million dollar contracts. It's nothing... So, we have uh, uh, new news coming out of the Cosby team. The Cosby team wrote some uh, questions that they sent to the appellate court, but, but they were crafty, you see. Uh, the judge, O'Neill, had not written his actual opinion. So there was nothing that they could 
specifically object to until such time as he wrote his opinion. And so they asked questions of the appellate court, which then forced the appellate court to turn to the judge, the trial judge, and say, okay, and what is your opinion? You don't have an opinion. What is going on? Write an opinion. He was going to go on and on and on and on without writing an opinion. So finally he wrote an opinion. And here we have the appeal. Uh, Bill Cosby legal team finally files an appeal in the uh, conviction. Bill Cosby has officially entered an appeal to his uh, conviction that has him currently placed behind bars. It is stated in the filing that the testimony of the uh, five of the accusers was strikingly similar. You can't get uh, women to agree on uh, a dress. So how in the heck are they all going to agree into, a, into a, a case like this? To the felony charges and should have not been played in court. I want you to understand that all of the women that, f that they put on the stand in the, ch in the second trial, uh, none of them had actually been arrested. Uh, none, none of them had filed any sort of claim in the police. None of them brought any sort of case. None of them had any evidence, uh, not one iota. They literally put women on the stand to simply talk. Uh, to say, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 uh, uh, me too, he did that to me too. And they had them out in front of the court crying. I'm just stating the facts. Uh, Cosby is currently serving three to ten year sentence and uh, has been behind bars since September in a Pennsylvania facility. Uh, and the judge had not written his opinion that entire time. So they could not, they haven't been able to appeal until now. Uh, Fox News reports, while behind bars, the insurance company for the legendary comedian has settled an additional eight lawsuits that consisted of uh, misconduct and defamation. Settled. Oh, so they all got paid. Oh. Do you mean to tell me that uh, because of this conviction, then uh, everybody is at the feeding trough? Guess who has a book? The judge. Guess who has a book? The DA. Guess who was coming up with a book? The judge and the DA before the trial. Uh, and they were, they were uh, paid out by the publishers before the trial even began. Is it, is it coming clear? Do you see why the black community is finally waking up? The details of the appeal, which was filed in Pennsylvania Superior Court, uh, challenged the conviction to Cosby on various components of the case uh, that has been poked at since the arrest of Cosby in December of 2015. Legal counsel for Cosby stated the details were unfairly stacked, you think, against Cosby, citing he was never charged. Most of the accusations are decades old, and you can't defend against the accusations. In addition, the testimonies, so you can't, you can't prove a negative, right? So when they said, he did this to me 30 years ago, Uh, the public, the court of public opinion, does not require uh, them to actually present anything because now they came out with first they came out with a hashtag Me Too, then they came out with a hashtag Believe Women, just believe them. No matter what, just believe them. Uh, can we have, can we have some sort of, uh, some sort of evidence? How dare you say that? Believe women. Okay. Uh, quote, uh, the evidence was used to strip Cosby of his presumption of innocence and to try to establish that Cosby had the propensity uh, to uh, do that to women. This evidence 
never should have been admitted at trial. A lawyer Christine L. Weisenberger, Brian Perry, and Sarah Kelly Kilgore uh, wrote in their appeal. Uh, so what they're saying is, it was just a thing of uh, opinion. Uh, it was a case of he said, she, she, she said, and uh, this was in a court of law. It's it's one thing if it's in a civil trial, you know, in a civil case. Uh, well, uh, uh, she, she said this. Uh, no, but he said this. And then the judge has to just simply decide. In an actual criminal trial, the DA has to present so much actual concrete evidence as to convince a jury and the judge uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. Doubt. One of the accusers got on the stand and broke down and said, yeah, you're right, I lied. I wrote it in my book, I lied. It was, it was, it was all a lie. It never happened. Uh, n uh, number two, defense witness got on the tr on the stand, finally, and said, uh, oh yeah, she told me actually that she was going to do this and she was going to get money. And that was the whole point of this. She told me, and when I asked her, had something actually happened, she said, no, it did not happen. Beyond a reasonable doubt, that's a doubt right there, right? Never should have been convicted, never. But the mainstream media had you con. Why does the mainstream media had you convinced? It's because the mainstream media needs views. They need clicks. They're losing their shorts. CNN is firing entire divisions of people. CBS, ABC, NBC, Bloomberg, MSNBC. It's firing whole divisions. Can't keep up. You know who they can't keep up with? can't keep up with me because I tell the truth uh, and YouTube of course and Google is trying to censor me uh, and hopefully uh, you all will stand by me and uh, allow me to keep telling the truth I need you to buy merch I have a merch store I need you to buy the merch uh, uh, it, it was so re relieving uh, the other day when I did not click the monetization uh, tab on my video because then I was hopefully everybody would buy merch and, and then I could say whatever I want and there would be absolutely no going over it because the whole point is that they can censor you if they pay you if they're not if they're not paying me they don't get to say into, uh, into what I say this is why the people like Steven Crowder are surviving it's because people buy their merch and Steven Crowder can say whatever he likes. He doesn't have to monetize anything on this channel. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, and that's it. Uh, Cosby filed an appeal. I'll keep you updated as to what's going to go on and proceed with this. Thank you. I'm about to pass out.